Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Maven tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn what are transitive dependencies in Maven. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can add dependencies in our pom.xml file, right? And uh, in the last video, I have added this dependency for JUnit. And when we add this dependency, you have observed that this jar file is added to your maven dependencies here. But if you have observed this maven dependencies uh, directory carefully, you may also observe that this jar file which is called hamcrest underscore or hyphen core hyphen 1.3 jar is also added to your project. And this is due to the addition of this uh, JUnit dependency. So for example, I'm going to once again remove this dependency and I will save my uh, files and see what happens here. Both will go at the same time, right? So I will just save it. And when I save it, then these dependencies will disappear. Okay, so you can see all the Maven dependencies are disappearing, right? And once again, when I add this dependency here and save the file, then these dependencies are downloaded and these dependency come at the same time. But this is strange for us because we haven't added any dependency for this Hamcrest core jar file. So how this dependency is coming? This dependency is the dependency of JUnit, right? So whenever you add the JUnit dependency, the JUnit also dependent on this hamcrest.jar file. And this you can verify from this dependency hierarchy you can see here. So just click this option here which says dependency hierarchy and in here you can see the hierarchy of dependencies, right? So you can see when we added JUnit, the dependency for JUnit is this Hamcrest core jar file, right? And this dependency of dependency is called transitive dependency, okay? Now, once again, there is one more way of seeing the dependency of this uh, J unit. And we can see uh, that Hamcrest is the dependency of this J unit. So once again, go to your pom.xml file and press your control button. So press control and then hover over your J unit dependency. You will see that you can click this dependency here. And when you click this dependency, it's going to open the pom.xml file for your JUnit jar file. And you can see the packaging format is jar, version is 4.12, and the group ID is JUnit and artifact ID is JUnit, right? And when we go to the pom.xml for the JUnit uh, jar file, you can see all the group ID and artifact ID. And when you go a little down, you will see the dependency list of uh, this J unit. Okay. So you can see the dependency of uh, this J unit jar is this org.hamcrest version 1.3. And that's why it's added here. Okay. And this is what is called the transitive dependency okay so once again we will go to our pom.xml file and we will try to add one more dependency let's say we want to add a hibernate uh, you know project or hibernate jar file to our pom.xml so as you already know if you want to add hibernate jar file you may search hibernate maven dependency and then search for it. And the first result which will appear here will be from mavenrepository.com slash artifact slash org hibernate. So just click this link 
and here you can find uh, you know many uh, artifacts here but uh, the one we want right now is for example this first one core hibernate ORM functionality right so I will click this and I will click the latest uh, release uh, version so I will click the top one right and in here I can just copy this dependency from here and I will go to my Eclipse IDE and paste this dependency here just below the JUnit dependency right and when I save this see what happens here so in some time it's going to download this Hibernate file and it's going to add it in our Maven dependencies but at the same time it's also going to add some transitive dependency as we are going to see in some time. So you can see here Hibernate Core 5.1 dot final dot jar file is added here but at the same time there are some other jar files are also added and these jar files are added to our Maven dependencies because they are the dependencies for this Hibernate Core jar file okay so you can see jboss logging is added hibernate jpa is added and then java assist is added and other jar files are added when we add this dependency here so once again we will go to the dependency hierarchy uh, tab here so just click this dependency hierarchy tab tab and you can see here once again the hierarchy so we can uh, see JUnit and the dependency for it is this Hamcrest and then Hibernate Core and dependency of it is JBoss, Hibernate JPA, Java Assist and other JAR file for example DOM for J and this DOM for J also have its own dependency which is XML APIs okay so this dependency hierarchy tab will show you all the dependencies and the dependencies of the dependencies and these are called the transitive dependencies once again we can also verify this by just pressing control and then pressing this uh, hibernate uh, group id and artifact id here okay so just click it and it's going to open the pom for org.hibernate and you can see packaging type is jar and when i go to pom.xml file of it you can see these dependencies of this hibernate right so you can see jboss is the dependency and uh, you can see hibernate java x is dependency you can see java assist is the dependencies and all the other dependencies which are uh, here are also listed here okay so these are the dependencies and uh, this is how the transitive dependency works so always remember the dependency of the dependency is your transitive dependency so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now